Hey everyone, it is a beautiful Sunday today and uh, I wanted to share something with you that I got from church this morning. It's from the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 14. Uh, the church was going through some problems. They were kind of arguing about who, uh, uh, if they should be vegetarians or if they should eat only meat. I know it sounds weird, right? But uh, I don't want you to think pita or anything like that. But the problem was that the meat in those days was being sacrificed to idols. So I guess they were kind of afraid of eating some demon-possessed meat and uh, dishonoring God. And in these situations when you don't know what to do, um, this is what Paul says. Romans 14, verse 14, let me read it to you. Paul speaking, he says, I know and am convinced. Stop right there. That's the key word there. Paul knew, everybody asked, it's like, how was Paul so powerful in his ministry? Like, the man wrote most of the New Testament that we have before us today, started so many Bible, uh, so many churches, um, an amazing man of God. And how could he do all of that? Number one reason right here, he was convinced by the Lord Jesus, the verse goes on to say. Paul knew what he believed. And this is something we Christians need to let soak into our hearts. That Christianity is more than just head knowledge. It's more than just getting something from a Christian personality or a Christian celebrity and, you know, tweeting about it. Christianity needs, let me just adjust this here needs to be something that is real to you. It's been said that the longest distance in humanity in this earth is the distance between the head and the heart. And that's so true. Because when difficult times hit, when the storms of this life start to rage, that's when you need to know what you believe. That's when Christianity needs to become real to you. I, uh, you know, I think I was an official, official, parentheses, youth pastor for like three to four years, but, uh, you know, and, and I've been teaching for like nine years in youth ministry, and I taught about grace, I taught about salvation, justification, all of those big words, but it wasn't until I hit some hard times recently that those words became real to me. It wasn't until I went through the hardships that God really started speaking to my heart and, and saying that it's not on the basis of what you know, but do you really believe that what I did on the cross was great enough, strong enough, powerful enough to justify you to do my work? Do you really believe that my blood is able to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And uh, and man, that's when it really became real to me. That's when these teachings became more than just head knowledge, but heart knowledge as well. And that's my challenge to you today, Christian, that the Word of God would become more than just head knowledge. But I challenge you because Paul said this. He said, I know I am convinced by, and here's the key, the Lord Jesus. This is how this, this is how you get to this point. You need to spend one-on-one -on -one time with your, with your God by reading his word, by going on your knees in the prayer closet where nobody else sees and praying to your God. And letting the word saturate you. You need to be one that is genuine in your faith. That you are a Christian not only at church. But in the secret quiet place as well. Anyways, that is my challenge to you. That's uh, my Bible thought for today. I hope it blesses you. Um, have an awesome day. God bless.